So I took some time to get uh, a few things sorted for this episode, so that way we're we're ready to push forward. Um, I did get the party girl NPC to move in while I was doing that, and um, in fact, the the other thing that we did was make a new set of houses, just three little areas over here for for these NPCs. So we got the operator, which is the alchemist NPC uh, character. We got the diver man when we did uh, the the queen jellyfish in the last episode and yeah the party girl also moved in but with the party girl I was able to buy concert tickets um i think this would be really strong if you were playing with other players but playing solo maybe not so much so it uh increases maximum inspiration by two which is not bad and every nearby ally increases your inspiration regeneration by two percent so that would be pretty good if you have like a, a party of people that you're playing with but yeah that's uh it's cool it's unique but i don't think we're gonna use it so i'm actually just gonna come over here and drop it in uh someone also mentioned that the uh aglet of or not aglet of wind what is it anklet of wind anklet of wind which we need to get from the jungle um we can buy from the uh npc down over here if we kill the queen bee and i think that is accurate so i could just go focus the queen bee down i think the queen bee is going to be one of our next big stops but we have a whole uh biome that we haven't even done yet which uh after we killed the queen jellyfish totally forgot to mention it but there's like oh goodness i don't even know what it's called maybe it's the aquatic depths i think that's what that might be uh, but there's a whole like biome underwater over there that we haven't gone to yet so we're gonna do that that's gonna be our first step um, in today's episode, do I actually have any gill potions? No, I do not. Let's let's buy a couple of those. Um, they have like these water bubbles uh, that pop up while you're in there, um, and I find that quite fascinating. Also, uh, just because I like to be able to see underwater. Let's get a couple of those. All right, cool. So we're going to go there. We're going to check that out. I'm going to wait for it not to be dark anymore just because I don't want to be exploring in the water in the dark. Uh, you know, normally in these series, I'm able to wait until day usually or have a thing that switches it over to the day. But I don't have anything like that in this one. So we're just going to wait. Um, let's see here. Before I do that, though, uh, the, the primary goal, like I said, is to kill the queen bee. We're not I don't think I'm going to make it a goal to kill Viscount this episode, but um, we will have to do that soon, uh, sooner rather than later. And going into the jungle and setting up our arena, probably, probably right here for Queen Bee actually might be pretty good. Is there more hive here? That's oh, copper. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we'll clear that out there, uh, make our arena. I did want to quickly mention that I just started a new series on the channel. It is a full playthrough of uh star wars jedi fallen order which came out in 2019 so you might ask yourself why am i doing a playthrough of it now well uh the obi-wan kenobi live action show comes out in may and they put a teaser trailer out for it and it looks freaking fantastic and if you're new to the channel which most of you are who are watching the terraria stuff welcome um you may not know that uh that i am a huge star wars fan in fact the channel got started doing star wars stuff so it is a it's a big deal for me <laughs> for the show it looks really cool at least the the teaser made it look really really good and honestly uh the the thing that they're doing with it 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 has a lot to do with these things called sith inquisitors or imperial inquisitors whatever um the terminology you use they're there to hunt down the jedi after uh star wars episode three so between star wars episode three and star wars episode four so yeah, it, it looks really cool. But because they're focusing on the Inquisitors, I'm like, well, I got to go play the game that also focuses on the Inquisitors, which is uh, Fallen Order. And oh, it's almost daytime. Perfect. I just want to. Oh, we need a ocean potion. Ocean potion. There we go. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. <laughs> uh, let's get just probably just one of them. Um, yeah, so there's also Cal Kestis, which is the main character of Fallen Order. Um, and because that game takes place in the same time frame as the Obi-Wan show, it's possible that he's going to actually show up in the show. And that would also be really quite great. So if you're interested in seeing, a, you know, maybe a different kind of playthrough, um, one that's certainly a lot more cinematic and uh, 
has similar difficulty spikes to say the uh the, the calamity series then that is definitely going to be for you so far really enjoying it loving the feedback on it uh people seem to be liking it quite a lot also i i don't mention this very often but if you didn't know this i do have a schedule that i keep with the youtube channel Maybe you, maybe you know this, maybe you figured it out, maybe you don't know this. I upload a video every single day, um, and I've never missed a day in 10 years. It'll be 11 years in August of, of this year. So if you're ever like, oh man, I, I, he just uploaded a video, you know, yesterday, uh, maybe it'll be a couple days before I, I see a video, a new one. No, it's literally every single day. So if you're ever looking for more Terraria stuff, make sure you turn on the bell on like next to the subscribe button uh, it'll notify you when a new video goes up and because i'm pushing through thorium quite a lot it, it'll most likely be a thorium episode <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping everything else kind of minimized anyway so this is my my beach house it's pretty cool i made a bridge just because it looked weird just to have a platform going across and i was like i don't like that so it's my beach house um this boss or this boss this npc i could buy a bunch of stuff from um they also have the treasure bag stuff although the treasure bags are not available until after we kill Skeletron. So there you go. Party girl, like I showed you before, has the concert tickets. Um, and this guy, which we get, we looked at in the last episode, just has a bunch of this stuff. All right, let's... Uh, oh, by the way, Aquatic Depths for Thorium is always on the opposite side of the world as the dungeon. Our dungeon is over here. Let's dive in and go see what we can find. It's quite the hole. All right, let's dig our way in. I think I can. Oh, we got an enemy right here already. Can I fire at the Giga Clam? Oh my goodness. I don't want to have to deal with Giga anything. A Mana War? Ooh. Ooh, Sea Ninja Star. Thrower class. I've, uh, just for reference, I have only ever been in this biome once and it wasn't for long. Oh, we just got water chestnut. Okay, so that's where you get that. <gasps> oh, I am, I'm loving that, the concept of this, this biome. Um, it's not the aquatic depths, is it? I don't know. The aquatic depths is the, it's, it's calamity, isn't it? Oh, you guys are going to correct me on that. That's not going to look good. <laughs> There's a chest over on the left. I'm going to try to go over to it. Oh my goodness. Barracudas are brutal. They're coming at me, bro. I can't, I cannot get away from these guys. <laughs> They're like, oh, there's a hammerhead too. The barracudas were quick. The hammerhead, not so much. Is it gonna drop like fins? Oh my goodness, a depth scales? What's that? This is awesome. I feel like everything is new and I'm having so much fun. Death scales. What? What is this? A more at you. Why are you? Why are you throwing those at me? There's a new ore here. Can I get that ore? Yes, we can. Aqua, uh, <laughs> aquaite. Is that what that is? Aquaite. Weird. Weird to say, but I'll take it. I don't know what it's used for. I think there's like maybe one weapon we can get out of here. Uh, so keeping that in mind, I'm not. Or actually, no. There's one from a chest for sure. And I think there's like a tuba that I can make. So I'm not like hyper invested in being here for long. I just got pearls. Um, but I think we can at least get some cool stuff out of this. Oh, we got a piranha. There's also something else in here. What is it? Sharp tooth. Hmm. I, th I think this is really cool. I like the music quite a lot um, for this area. It, it makes me wish that Calamity, or not Calamity, that Thorium had a little bit more of its... Um, music. We got Angler's Bowl. Cook the bowl. Releases a friendly angler fish to lighten up the dark. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Look at that. A little light pet. That's kind of cool. Uh, Aqua Potion grants uninhibited water movement. That's nice. I don't know if I'm going to need that, so I kind of want to hold on to it rather than use it. Uh, is there another chest down there? I don't see one. Although it is very dark. Let's just go ahead and dig downward and see what we get. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's platinum. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so you can get platinum from there. Also, there's like this weird chest over here that I'm gonna go get. It looks like a an underwater chest thing. That's that's a that's a technical term. Let's see what's in it. Oh, oh okay. It's just oh, I see, I see, I see. So it's it, it's either just spawned there because 
it can. Um, or it is kind of like like a, like a ketchup chest that you can you can catch up with certain things. Oh, we're about to get attacked by this guy, I think. Let's no, one. Oh, it's because I have the auto thing on. Die Barracuda. Okay, what did we get here? Uh, so we can summon the Queen Jellyfish, which actually I might do because there is a weapon from her that I want. Uh, Turtle's Bulwark, defense increased by two, taking damage, releases a touchable note that recovers 25%, or moat rather, 25% damage that you took. That's pretty good. Um, there is absolutely, oh, my breast potion is about to wear off. There's, what is that? An octopus. I can't even see it. I couldn't even see how cool the model looked. <laughs> There's absolutely things that I need here. Um, from this the, one of these chests, so I think I'm just gonna dig down to it getting bubbles from somewhere I have 20 something seconds there. There is a, a Thing that you can get it's like the Bubble magnet or something like that. It kind of sucks those bubbles in so that way you can keep getting air without having to use the potion over and over I think that's a fairly cool and, and unique um, Accessory to be able to use so Maybe, maybe we try to find that. I think that might be quite good, actually. Given the situation that we find ourselves in, which is that of drowning. <laughs> What's in here? Rainstone. Oh, the rainstone is actually quite good for us. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete those. Delete all. Uh, can I, what, what else was in there? Fishing potion. Oh, crap, what do I get rid of? Ah, I don't wanna get rid of anything. I don't know what is a material and what's not. All right, we gotta go before we just die. Uh, that's not the right thing. <laughs> I might need to pick up more of this gill potions. Let's take a look at what we got. So the rainstone uses 20 mana and it activates or cancels a rainstorm. Love that, can I hold on to that? We got depth scales, 16 of them. Uh, that can make the scuba curva, which is a, uh, it's a tuba, um, but we need aquatic stuff. Uh, how do we get that? Okay, so we use the ore to make these bars at a furnace. Um, these bars, ooh, Chrono Ocarina. Oh, this is hard mode. Oh, okay, fine, whatever. Hydro pickaxe, 80% pickaxe power, huh? Ooh, it's actually technically better than what we got. That might be worth it. Um. Uh, do we have any other weapons? I don't think so. Key of the Tides. Not sure what that's used for. Uh, a calming spirit? Calms all of reality, making it a little easier to deal with. What does that mean? What, what does that even do? Ranger set. Oh, this is cool. It's like a, it's like a fish set. Um, yeah, I think outside of the, the, the scuba, uh, weapon there. I don't think we're gonna find anything else. So let's go, actually before I do anything, let's go. Let's go talk to good old traveling merchant. He ain't got nothing I want. Actually, what was that last thing there? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, it's a healer class thing. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and double check that this stuff. Okay, so this is for potions. Uh, marine kelp seeds can be placed. Okay, pearls. What's, what are pearls used for? I can make a pearl ring. Oh, that's right. I needed that for that one ring. Do I still want that one ring? I don't know if I do. It doesn't really seem like, uh, outside of the healer stuff, that there's anything else I need. Hmm. Quartz shield. Yeah. All right. Let's 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 see about this. The, the ring. Increase all damage by two, armor pen by two, reduce damage taken by four, increase crit chance, of crit damage by 4%. I mean, that's good, but I don't really have a spot for it. <laughs> it's kind of a problem, isn't it? Let's pop over here. We'll deposit all of that. Um, we will make all of these bars. Uh, we will make the scuba. And bam. Oh, and I think we have just enough bars for the pickaxe. Where is it? Icy hydro, hydro pickaxe. Bam. Ooh, it's godly too. Heck yeah. I assume it can mine hellstone. 
Tool speed increased while you're wet. Actually, that might be good for being underwater there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in there. Let's check out the, the, the tuba. So 18 damage, 15% crit chance. Actually, is that, that's fairly good. I know everything else is a little bit higher. Uh, very fast speed, no knockback, uses two inspiration, propels a forceful sea breeze in front of you, blowing enemies backwards. Playing empowers uh, players with bonus flat damage one. Let's uh, let's move the sitar. Oh, it's like a it's like a flames roar. Oh, and I can't aim it. It just goes literally straight. Interesting. Huh. I kind of I I think it's almost time to get ourselves a uh, a, a dummy so uh, so we can actually sit there and test our damage. I'm gonna put the sitar away. Interesting weapon. I'm not I'm not sure how good or useful it is, but it is definitely interesting. Oh, that's interesting. You can you can get amber from here if you uh wow, that's not going down, is it? There you go. Um if you find it in the the, the walls here. That's actually kind of cool. That, that's that's a useful little thing to have. That kind of the cloud in a bottle. No, not what we want. What about here? Got another bowl. Um, we also got a Spelunker Potion. I'm not going to go ahead and use that. I might go ahead and use one of these too. Just kind of make it a little bit easier for us to get around. There's another chest down to the left. I mean, I... Uh, these also, by the way, these Amber will not uh, dig with the um, Vein Miner. It's a little annoying. But we can always potentially get stuff that we haven't gotten before by looking at these normal golden chests. So I am going to prioritize them a little bit. Okay, we got the steel drum, which is definitely one of the weapons we're looking for, but it's not the weapon we're looking for. Um, I believe there is still one more that we're really trying to get, but I haven't gotten it yet. And it's kind of a pain in the butt <laughs> to dig through here, to be honest. I, I mean, it's got a little faster with this new stuff, but it is it is still kind of annoying. This tuba is great. <laughs> It's like a really good flamethrower. I don't know. I, don't, I think I think I was a little underwhelmed by it at first, but now that I've used it a couple times, I'm like, oh baby. Also, this is totally what we're looking for. Uh, let's loot all. Let's get rid of the glow sticks because honestly, I don't actually need them anymore because I got the permanent one. Um, I believe that was. Oh no, there's a there's a cane. Where did we get that from? Uh, get rid of the mana potions. What is this? Summoning. Ooh. I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, let's let's go ahead and head back. So what did we get? We got uh, another bowl, blah, blah, blah. We got the, the oh wait, no, the magic constant sorcerer class. Which one was I thinking? I got the steel drum. Huh, I don't know why I thought that one was actually a, a weapon for, for the bard. Oh, oh, well. okay, so it doesn't really matter. So we got the steel drum. So the steel drum allows you to rhythmically play on a big steel drum. Successfully timing hits will steadily increase the damage, blah, blah, blah. We all know that. This gives us movement speed one. Let's try it. That's... Oh man, you get off... Off, uh, off, uh, tempo with that and it's really bad. Let's, let's try it on some things. Uh, that's not, that's actually not bad. Because it does this like, um, piercing move. That's pretty nice. Also, we get a bunch of movement speed from it. I'll hold on to that for now. That, that might be a winner. And then obviously we've got our tuba, so that's done. Let's go ahead and, I think I, I, I like this. It summons a baby giga clam. That's kind of cool. But yeah, we don't need anything else here. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Now it's time to go back to the jungle. So we've done all that. Now now jungle time so we can do the queen bee. So uh, do I have any mining potions? I think I do. Yeah, so we'll take a few of those because that's nice to have. We'll get rid of some of those. Uh, yeah, let's go get a potion. I'm going to drop my gold because do, 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 I don't have much. Um, let's go get a potion and go to the jungle. Man, you forget how long it takes to build a, an arena in the jungle until you do it with like a crappy pickaxe. <laughs> you're like, oh yeah, this is also why I hate doing it later on when we do Plantera. It's not, it's not my favorite part building uh, 
building arenas for sure is, is coming to the jungle and having to do it. So while we finish getting the rest of this set up, I did want to quickly just do the normal rigmarole. If you're enjoying the series, make sure that you are subscribed because you'll be able to see all the new episodes that go up as we mentioned daily um, in, your, in your subscription feed, which is great. Also, if you're enjoying it, make sure you like the video because you have no idea how much it helps uh, send that video to more people. And it's a, a huge thing for us. So like if, you, if you're liking this, make sure that you do hit the like button. It, it means a lot as a person who, um, you know, is, is, is making a living off of this. It's, it's tough, right? It's, you, you can't, oh no, I didn't want to summon the boss already. <laughs> I'm not even prepared with buffs. You can't like uh, fully live off of YouTube unless you're, you have a massive channel. So uh, you being able to send that video to more people certainly helps me a lot. So thank you for those of you who that do. It makes a, a very big difference. And of course, if you're enjoying this series, you can always help support the channel by becoming a channel member. You can do that next to that uh, subscribe button. You get a bunch of cool like little emojis. Some of them are Terraria based too, that you can use on YouTube and YouTube live streams, uh, YouTube comments, all that fun stuff. And then of course I have my Patreon, patreon.com slash OSW guild. Links in the description. You can also support there. This is not going great. <laughs> I am, I'm not really prepared for this. I'm thinking that because of the little boys that pop out of Queen Bee, I think it's time to consider um, switching over to our stringed instrument. Uh, brass instrument, I think is what that tuba is. I don't remember what the brass instrument uh, thing does. Or is it the mute? What does it do? Do, do, do? Okay, you know what? Actually, that might be pretty good. I, I, what I may do, oh, there's a block there. That's so annoying. Um, what I may do is switch over to that because it does a stupid amount of damage being a, like a flamethrower. So I think maybe we, we might try that out a little bit. Uh, the, the problem with that is fairly obvious, which is that the queen bee really likes to hang out above you and not uh, left and right of you. Oh, that's what it was. I was forgetting. See, the weapon that I thought that we would get out of the, the uh, water area we were just at is one that you actually get from the queen jellyfish. Forgot about that. But this this is going a lot better with this weapon, so we just need to keep it up a little bit. Kill the, kill the bees as they come out. Get our inspiration fragments and our health. That's because that's like really what sustains us, but we're doing this without any major buffs. Um, so I'm happy about that. Come on, Queenie, get down here. I, maybe, maybe during these moments, I should, well, I don't know. <laughs> this weapon is so funny. Maybe during those moments where she's charging, we swap to the ocarina because, or maybe not the ocarina. I am gonna get rid of this block, oh my goodness. That's like the fourth or fifth time that I've run into it. Yeah, maybe we, we switch to the tuba. We just kind of do some tubing because it does quite a lot of damage when you hit with it. It's, it's harder to hit with this weapon with, the, with the, the charging, I think. Get over here, Queenie. I think, I think, um, I think I've done the Queen Bee so many times in my life that at this point I don't find it too difficult. Uh, there are some mods that change her speed or make her, oh my goodness generally less fun to play against. That was really bad. I almost died there. There's so many man eaters. Why? Uh, but when, when they change it like that, it does make the fight a lot more difficult. And I think it needs it that, you know, that's, that's one of the best things that master mode has done in 1.4 is it kind of rebalances a lot of the bosses. So that once you're at this point where you're like, this is easy, kind of makes it just a little bit more difficult in a good way. And I appreciate that quite a lot because this, this version of Queen Bee isn't, isn't so bad. Although uh, towards the end, I mean, remember we did the exact same thing with Brain of Cthulhu, did the exact same thing with Eye of Cthulhu and King Slime. It all gets a little bit more chaotic right in the last 10%. So I just gotta hold it together. This is not going well now that I've kind of gotten a little further in. She's getting a little more chaotic here and I don't like that. 
I did just pop that that buff again just so I could have the vision on her. Little trick using the the night owl potion and everything. There is a heart down here. Is that worth getting? Mm, no, I think that actually <laughs> screwed me up a little bit. I want to wait for the poison to get off of me so I can heal a little bit more, but I think I just got to go for it. Let's uh, focus on the fact that she's going to spawn more guys here in a minute, right? That's going to happen. I just don't know when. It's not now. She's just kind of doing these circles. What are you doing, Queen? Oh, okay, there she goes. <laughs> like, I've been using this weapon for when she spawns things. Oh, I just went right into her. But I've been using our loot for this point. Although, is there still... Okay, 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 okay. Oh my goodness, there's so many bees. There are there's so many bees. <laughs> I guess she is the queen bee, not the... Ugh. The worker bee. Why don't you... Get things there. Okay, cool. Oh, I don't have any inspiration. I really need the region. Okay, there we go. We gotta go for the kill here. <laughs> it's not going great. Oh, no, no, no. What's our heal at? Two seconds? Alright, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, let's pop that heal. Uh, she's gonna start spawning dudes. There we go. Man, the pierce on this weapon is just so good. Like, you cannot deny that it is a great weapon for fighting all these, like, bees. Alright, here we go. We're gonna pop this. We're gonna regen. Oh no, that's so fast! How are you supposed to avoid that? <laughs> How? Also, she's spawning bees at the same time. <laughs> she wasn't doing that before. That is definitely like a last 10% thing. Oh, she, now she's like machining us. Machine gunning us, rather. Regen, 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 regen. Cool. Keep it together. Woo. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, she's so fast. I just, I need more inspiration. I'm, I'm using all of it when I shouldn't be. And it's causing me to not have any for when I need it. I have three seconds left on a heal. Oh no. <laughs> all right, tuba. Tuba her to death. Oh, we did it with the tuba. <sighs> that was probably the most intense queen bee fight that I think I've ever done. Let's go back. We got 25 gold from that. That's pretty good. Let's put out that gold away before I forget about it, because otherwise I am going to forget about it, like, immediately. All right, B-Wax. Right, 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 right. What was that for? The Rosin, which, uh, piercing stringed instrument attacks will lose 15% of the damage per hit, which is nice. Or 15% less damage per hit. Piercing string instrument attacks will increase in speed every hit. Also quite nice. And we can make the Honey Recorder. But I don't know how good that is. Oh, I need honey blocks for this. I have to go back to the jungle to get honey block. All right, fine. We'll, we'll do that in just a moment. Uh, is there anything else that I... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can do this. Right? It's going to stop the rain. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Do I actually have to go back to get honey block? Or can I do this? Do, do, do. Does, does he have honey block? Oh, I don't know if he does. Uh, building blocks? Honey block. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Architect for the win. Let's go ahead and... There's nothing else, right? I feel like I'm going crazy. Is there something else I'm missing here? No. So, let's go to honey. We'll make the honey recorder. Can we all just agree that the recorder is one of the most useless instruments? And rosin. Which jagged. 1% damage. Um, yeah, so this is like super good for the stringed stuff. And when it comes to the wall of flesh, we have to consider that we may end up using a guitar because the piercing on it is just so good. So definitely holding on to that. Uh, let's put these potions away because I don't need them just yet. And then let's check out this honey recorder. So it releases the harmless but sickeningly sweet toot of sound that covers an enemy in honey. Right click to summon bees that damage and seek out the nearest enemy covered in honey. Okay, so let's say I go to this and I fire it off. So that's the honey. And that, sh that sends out the bees. Okay, let's, let's go find an enemy real quick and see how this works. If, if we can find like a zombie or something.
All right, here's that. Here's that I. Okay, bees go. Really? That's it? Oh, oh, I see. I got. Okay. So let's say we do that. That's actually not bad. <laughs> That's actually really good because we have it. So they're, I mean, it's seeking, right? But we have the mouse piece on, don't we? Yeah, we do have the mouse piece on. So they seek a little bit faster, which is, is what that mouse piece does. If you have a seeking weapon already. That's, that's pretty good. That is <laughs> kind of stupid good. Maybe, maybe the weapon we use for Viscount. Like, let's just consider that for a second because that is so good. Um, wasn't there like a, an accessory or something? Or is this 1.4? Is there, is there an accessory that increases the damage of your bees? Cause does that count? Maybe it does. Can we check the queen bee real quick? Uh, do, 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 do. I think if I go to bestiary and then go to B, go to queen B, is there something? This is the honeyed goggles. Oh, that bee mount is so cool. What else does she have? Bee gun, bee pants, honey heart, healer class, healing allies with less health than you covers them in honey. What does that mean? Oh, it gives them the regen. Ah, I see. Actually, that's really cool. That's a cool thing. Um, and it won't show us her bag stuff, I don't think. All right, that's fine. Well, what's up next? Viscount. So what we need to get, and what I have already forgotten is the name of, but we might be able to find going here. There it is. Grim Pointer. Right, we need the Grim Pointer because the Grim Pointer is going to point us where we go, which actually... Can we oh, look at all those fireflies? My goodness. Let's see how close we actually are with our little elevator we made. Is it is it just like underneath where we're actually at? Oh, let's let's use a different weapon to clear the spider webs. Uh, Grim Pointer. Yeah, actually, you know what? I believe it might be. Yeah, I think it's just down over here. So I just have to keep doing my elevator and then I'll run into it. All right, that's cool. 